Let's take a look at our mastering chain. Notice how the mix falls apart when I turn the bus compressor off. So boring without bus compression. I wish I had my hardware one, but you know, next time. Next time. Okay, so let me take a look at the lin. Oh, let's not take a look at that. Let's take a look at the linear multiband. You can see it's batting down a lot of like one to two K. Yeah, it's it very controlling that mid range. Yeah, I love it. It's great. I'm not going to touch it. Happy with that. Drive here on the Trident. Wipes the high end a little bit too much. I'm going to increase the drive to closer to six, but. Um, it just gets a little bit too hyped. I do like the distortion it adds, but it's a little bit too much. Okay, Excite, I'm not gonna touch because it's just barely on. And then I've got a little FGX. For loud, and I would also come in here and grab some little EQ. Remember we left these points on? Let's see what happens when we take them off. Those actually ended up sounding pretty good, and I'm glad I left them on because there's a lot of frequencies I don't like. All right, I'm just going to fish around and see if there's anything else I can pull out of this that will make it sound better. It just improved the entire mix by what? One, two percent? Much smoother on the ears. maybe with like one more EQ point here. Don't be afraid to do extreme stuff on the master. I do it all the time. You're not gonna ruin your mix. Well, you can ruin your mix if you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I should be careful saying that, but um, sometimes, you know, something like that looks like this. Really wrong. Our top end is really smooth and nice. I'm gonna throw that uh, virtual tape thing on this that Slate's got. 